welcome to the very first episode of i'll be trying to be productive it's not always successful i hope that you'll join me and have some fun today and see what all i have going on in my life okay so we're down here today i have ordered me a chicken biscuit from rise chicken and righteous biscuits and donuts i think that's what it's called i have ordered one from there and it said it's supposed to be here at like 905 so we are just getting started with our work day so right now i am doing some editing which is what i wanted to do this morning i had a whole like to-do list that i'll probably pop in here somewhere so you guys can see if i can check off my list today i wanted to get some orders done i wanted to get some editing done i have a target run hopefully if this tire comes in i can go get my tire and go to target and then go to ulta it's a whole thing okay so let's get started with doing some editing let me see if i can like prop you guys up somewhere so i'm sitting over here because i really don't feel like Okay, my food has arrived and I love that um, they put it in like a little bag or whatever so I didn't have to worry about that but I did go ahead and like spray around the bag and of course I used my hand sanitizer when I got finished. So, uh -oh, that's my apple pencil top I need to put in there. Let me show you guys this biscuit before I like tear it up. But it is like a really, really big biscuit y'all. Like. It ain't your average size like little biscuit. This a whole piece of chicken on here. But it's so good and the, the biscuit is so good. Like it's just phenomenal. So I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this. Um, my coffee should be just about warmed now. So let's take a sip of the coffee. Okay, I can sip it now. We're good, we're in the go. So I'm still over here editing. I did open the blinds a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit more sunlight. And I'm still editing. So I'm gonna eat and finish editing, get this coffee in me. Because it's almost, oh it is, it's nine o'clock. So I have like an hour to finish with editing and all that stuff before I have to move on to my next task. My next, my next task. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, it is so good. Mm. It's the perfect sandwich for the morning time. And this will last me like pretty much the rest of the day. Um, like until like dinner time because I'm eating it so early. But y'all, I don't put nothing on there. So it's it literally like just eating a biscuit by itself. So <laughs> you might want to put some jelly on yours. You might want to put some um, cheese or some bacon. I've tried all of them, but I really like it when it's just plain. And if you know me, that's kind of how I am anyway. I'm just a plain girl. I like seasoned chicken. I like no fries with no seasoning. I'm real basic, kind of. Okay. All right, so as you guys can see, it is 9.48 and I just finished editing, like adding in all of my little edits and music and all of that. So that's what you see down here. Like there's music, there's my logo that I like on there. Um, added that so you guys know how to find her um oh that's a cute thumbnail too let me um that might be a thumbnail i don't want you guys to see my nails too not just hers i don't know we'll we'll see okay so now what i do is i go up here and i don't save directly to my any like my computer anymore i just save it directly to youtube so i'll go here and then it puts my little thing up there this pops up don't want to save it heck yeah and then i'm going to push next and yes it can publish but as you can see it says this is this video is viewable by only me so it'll go up as private and shazam that's what we got so it'll start loading so um i usually come over here and i click background tasks so i can make sure it's loading before i get up i want to have at least one percent up before 
for some reason I have downloaded like the new version of Final Cut Pro and after it gets to 50% which is 50% is like loading the video to I would say like maybe like your I don't know I don't know how to call it like it's like loading the video computer wise and then from the computer then it goes to your YouTube and so once it gets to 50% you know it's like headed over to YouTube but I just can't see when that's actually going down anymore so after it gets to 50 percent but as you can see it's at one percent now so that means it's rocking and rolling so i can get out of here um but what i usually do is um if i didn't take an intentional thumbnail which most of the time i do take one um i would come back in here and try to maybe possibly create a <laughs> thumbnail from i know that's so annoying let me turn the volume off so you guys don't have to hear that um, so I would try to create a thumbnail from this particular one here. So what I could do because it's, as you can see, um, it has all of my stuff on there. I would go back to that clip. So let's go find the clips over here on the side. And since now we're not using this screen as much, I can blow that up. And it makes more sense. Okay, let's find the clip, find the clip. Okay, we wanna find the end of this cause that's when I kinda like did some, yeah. Okay, so I did do some thumbnails over here. This is why I was talking about like doing intentional thumbnails. I do try to do intentional type thumbnails from time to time. So as you can see right here, like I did a whole video of intentional thumbnails so I can just click here um or here I don't know which one do I like I think I like this one the best so just want to keep it there and then I'm gonna hit file and then I'm gonna hit share but this time I'm gonna just save the current frame so that's gonna save that frame there for me and then it'll go to my downloads on my computer and I'll have a thumbnail once they um, upload, I'll send, I'll airdrop it from here to my phone and then I'll put it into Facetune and if I need to for like color purposes and like boost the color up and all that stuff, but you'll see that later. So it's actually, um, the video is writing at 5%, but because we added those other ones there, it's showing like 1%, but we're good to go. We're good to start our next task and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here's my to-do list. We had to edit and upload, and this was our nail video, because we need to do one of those. So now I'm just going to change the color for today, and that's how you change the color. And we're going to do green, because we've finished that for today. So now it's time to go work on some orders, and then when I get done with my pick list, I work on my assessment. I need to call about the tires, so sometime in between here, I'll call and see if my tire is ready, if I can go get my tire. Um, while I'm out there getting the tire, I can make my run to Target and Ulta, which is absolutely fine. Um, I'm about to pick the giveaway winner, so I need to do that. And then my content plan for May, I need to work on that. Oh, I have a training. Uh, okay, and then I have I need to call my personal, I'm having like a virtual personal assistant or whatever. And so I just need to walk through some things with her. We've already kind of like outlined what we want her to do and all of that. But I just want to walk through some things with her. So yeah, here's my to-do list for today. Let's get it cracking. All right, so this is church service. This is what I have been working on. The sound is not that great right now. So, um... But yeah, so I was working on the church stuff being like this, like having the nice little things on it and stuff. So we're still trying to work on the sound because, let me turn that. That's gonna annoy myself, hold on. <laughs> okay, so we were trying to work on the sound and stuff on there and that's like something I have been trying to get together. But today, you guys know I couldn't drive out there to the church because again, like I was not about to risk it all and there were people who, in place who could do what I needed to do, as you can see. So now we are getting ready to work on some um, of our stuff. This was some stuff I was printing out last night for like personal stuff. I have this kit. 
that I want to use for Mother's Day to do a plan with me for Mother's Day or whatever. But I realized, you know, I didn't really need all of these um, different pieces of it. So, like, I kind of got the pieces that I needed to have for a plan with me. And then, like, this one, for some reason, is not cutting. I'm having issues with my um, portrait. Like, it does this from time to time where like one of them just won't just won't act right so i don't know how this is gonna go today but this is the newest one this is my old my like my second one because i have another one i actually have three but i don't use the older one because it doesn't have um the automatic over here and so it i would have to like switch the blade out change the size and all that stuff which is why i didn't i was hand cutting before so now i save that step and it actually cuts everything out for me so I don't have to do that extra step of cutting and oh my gosh it saves me so much time shout out to Shay for that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start um, printing off the sheets that I need from the pick list uh -oh. from the pick list here and this just tells me what all I need now the only thing I don't like about this pick list is that like right here it says college life bit says we need 45 we really don't need 45 of those right um so what I would have to do is go through the orders and write them down I don't know why it pulls like that but it does it should it should change when it says style but whatever that's pretty much like the only ones that I've had issues with I printed out a whole bunch of nursing ones before because of that I hadn't like realize that that was a thing but I don't know if it's because they're listed individually or what have you so I have five pages here which really isn't that bad so I do two things I one I know some of these I don't have already so I've already printed out the order forms um from my website but then here is my box of stickers so I'll go through here and this is where I house all the stickers at. Now I know this like looks really small, but I can fit quite a lot of stickers in here and this works just fine for me and my little small, you know, whatever. I thought like, ooh, one day I'll get me like a whole little shelf. No, this is so good for me because I can also carry it on the go, which is what I wanted with something I could like, um, because you guys know I work, right? So this helps me to just to be able to pick it up, grab it. I can um, do orders on my lunch break, um, like take them to the post office or whatever, work in my car. I can work at somebody else's house once I have the orders complete in here. So this is the next major step for me is to go through here. I would see what stickers I already have, like um, payday stickers, how many do I already have? And I would just replenish. Now some of these I wouldn't even care about looking at. Um, only because like I just want to replenish anyway so I can already have them in stock. So like payday stickers, I always use those so I print those out. But I, what I don't want to happen is that I overprint some that I don't need and then we run out of paper or something like that. So I'm very conscious about um, you know making sure I print off the right items. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with pulling up our stuff and creating some stickers because the new ones that just released, hopefully you guys can see that. The new ones that just came out, I have not created, um, whatchamacallits for. So I'm just gonna close these out. Ah, oh, don't say for, she don't wanna be safe, don't say for. Right, so now we have all of our cut lines and everything on here we have everything that we need and we're just going to go and click print but I need to make sure I have the right paper so whenever you're working with a printer like this or whatever printer you're working on I always suggest if you start printing other things to just make sure you have the right paper in there see how this is shiny on this side I want to make sure all of the pages are shiny on that side so that I don't mess that up and I haven't figured out if it picks it up from the bottom or from the top yet so that's the thing um this is just the paper I had up there from last night I have not replenished my stock from my supplies over there on the other side of the room so I'll have to do that soon but just making sure you check your printer before you start printing because I've done that before and it's been a whole thing
right so this is what it looks like printed on the paper and I think we are good to go so now we'll just load this up on one of our boards um, what are they called <laughs> we're gonna put it on here give me just a second I can't use both hands So this is what I was talking about where it's not taking the print the first time. So it's just be acting the monkey and I haven't figured out why this one doesn't want to work. So I just keep trying it until I get it to go through. Yet again. So I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so it did end up cutting correctly after it took it. So I'm just gonna pop that out of there. And let me show you guys how this works. Oh, it did not cut. Ooh. So what it was supposed to do is cut through the sticker paper. Okay, so it was supposed to cut through the sticker paper, but it did not cut through the sticker paper. So we need to see if it's actually going to Okay, so it did cut the actual stickers, but it did not cut through the sticker paper. So I think a lot of that has to do with the settings that I have it on. So this is supposed to like, boom, boom, and then off of here. As you can tell, like some of it is coming off, but it shouldn't take this much effort to get it undone. So I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that I, um, was using it for a different paper yesterday. So the, let's see. Nope, it ain't gonna focus in. Uh, maybe it's so. Um, I think this is dirty inside. And one thing about it, I have not figured out how to, so I just wanna check my settings again and make sure I did put deep cut on there so that it cuts all the way freaking through because when I start using a different material, so that's why you should have a different um, a different one for all of these and I forgot to change it last night when I was working on it. I should have changed it and just used one. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and blow in this one too because I know last night I had, this is a newer one. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, how it should print off. It shouldn't take all of that work. And then um, you just peel them off one by one. And you have your sheets already together. So these are the Beyonce. Beyonce all on is a flat lick. And this is so cool because you guys know the Savage Remix just came out. And so, you know, put a little extra flavor on the song. And then, I mean... It just fits, but there's never a wrong time for a Beyonce sticker, you know what I'm saying? So. Alright, so I'm feeling really accomplished. I got my video uploaded and I made my thumbnail and I think the thumbnail is so stinking cute. Um, it looks pretty easy to read, like even if you can't really read that, I feel like you get the concept that it's like rainbow or whatever. So I think that's cute. I just went ahead and uploaded it over here to the channel. Now what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to give my website people a chance to see the video first. So I'm going to leave it unlisted and then at 5 o'clock I'll make it go live. And I think I'm going to do that for like my Patreons. Like if I do decide to do Patreon I'll do like you can view the video before anybody else views the video 
that type of thing. So that's what I think I'm going to do for today and just test it out before we go into the Patreon to see you know, if it's even worth it, if people are even interested in seeing it before or whatever. Plus with the way things are going, I usually get demonetized like the first hundred to a thousand views. That's what's been happening for like the past month. So my coins have been terribly low, but yeah. So I'm about to load up all the presets and everything in here that I need, like the description. Um, and then I just changed, like I said, I changed the thumbnail and I'm gonna change the visibility over here. So I'm about to get to it. All right, so I got my little vlog, my bloggy blog done. Got a little words and then the video and then now I'm about to hit publish because it's one o'clock and you can only schedule things like 30 minutes ahead of time. So now I have my vlog. So what should happen is it should, I should get an email that comes to my thing that says, there we go. Boom. So anybody that subscribed to the channel will get, I mean, to my vlog, ugh, I'm tearing up. Anybody that subscribed to my website will get that email and they can go check out the video first. And then I'm going to make the other video go live like at two o'clock or whatever so that I can see it. So that's how I'm kind of doing things right now. All right, it's time to pick our winner. So I'm going to go here and it says winners and I'll block out the person's email address. I don't think it even, Oh, sometimes it shows it. Okay, we got Renee Sanders. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and contact her and let her know the shoot. Okay, so I was successful at oversleeping. I just woke up from my nap. It is 7.08. I call myself setting an alarm today to like wake up. And so I did, like I didn't wanna sleep past five, I think it was, what time did I put on there? Yeah, I think I put it on for five o'clock because I took a break. Um, because you know, it's good to take a break even when you're working from home, you still should take a break or whatever. So I lay here, I was watching How to Get Away with Murders and y'all, I didn't fell asleep at seven o'clock. Um, so yeah, I've lost two hours of my working day. Don't mind my hair, this, uh, this is what it looks like when it's under them, uh, them good them good wigs but I didn't feel like sleeping in the wig anymore um I just wanted to take it off and let my hair rest um because this is what I do I just wear the wig I condition my hair like nightly um when I don't have it like tacked down and when I say it's tacked down it probably be tacked down for like two days or whatever but I will have it like um at nighttime I'll oil it down when I'm cleaning my face and all that stuff and I oil my hair down just to put some minerals and stuff back in it and wrap the thing up and put it back on there but that's why my hair has seen a lot of growth because I literally don't play in my hair anymore I and mean, that's something I used to do all the time play in it and all that y'all didn't ask me any of that but that's what I'm looking crazy so now I'm trying to figure out where do I pick up my day <laughs> because I've already lost two hours of my time so I think I'm going to finish um I'm going to start recording a plan with me and make this plan with me maybe a voiceover so that way I can do both at the same time I'm not really sure I don't know guys I don't know I feel so out of it like right now I just need to maybe I think I'm about to do like some like stands or whatever I did however I was watching this video because I need a new work bag I feel like my backpack is just getting to the point where I just got like stuff in it and it's just I'm stuffing it and I don't like that so I want to be able to carry some different things so I am in the market for a work bag and I don't know what I'm going to get so if you have any suggestions for work bags let me know and I am so sorry this looks like Oh, Chile. Like, I just look, feel like I look so out of it. So let me do some stretches. Um, whenever I feel like this, I usually try to, um, like, do some arm stretches. Especially you guys know I have carpal tunnel um, in my right hand. And so I have to do a lot of stretches anyway for that. But the chiropractor gave me some stretches to do for my neck. Just to do like this. Look over, and that's where I can feel like the tension. It gets all inside of this arm over here. And just do some of this. Oh, 
okay that actually helps me a lot more than what people think and i don't know maybe it was the no i took my vitamins and everything i had the coffee maybe the coffee just finally wore off and i was like hmm so maybe i'll get some more coffee maybe that'll help but i'm like run out of coffee i need some more now i feel like i'm rambling so let me go and uh get started on something hell i don't know all right you guys so it is 10 18 and i'm still going at it I decided to just work on the back sheet of the pick list. I had some orders that need to go out tomorrow. The rest of them were orders that were placed on May 1st, which was on Friday. So um, tomorrow I'll work on like just shipping anything with the budget planner only. I'll ship those out because that like I won't have to wait for those. Um, like there's no stickers involved. Like the product is already ready to go. Just pack them up. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I have them over there. I'm thinking I'm just gonna stick um, a freebie, a thing, or whatever. Like just stick them in there and just bag them up. You know what I'm saying? And just that way I can have them ready to go. Um, I don't know yet, you guys. But I do know that at 11 o'clock I'm turning this in. So whatever I didn't get finished on my to-do list just didn't get finished. Those two hours like really, really 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 killed me because my plan was to have all of this stuff like completed like all of the cuts right i wanted to have everything that needed to be cut i wanted to have that completed and then start working on my paper um so 11 o'clock comes i'm you know i might sit in the bed and maybe no i'm not i'm gonna go to bed and i'm gonna wake up early in the morning like i've been doing waking up at five o'clock and working so I just thought I would close this vlog, vloggy vlog out. Um, we can take a look back at our, what we've accomplished today. I mean, I did get some, I guess you could say I got some stuff done, but I just don't feel like I was super productive as I had started out being productive with. That nap, like I can't stress it enough, that nap really took me in. So let's look at our to-do list. All right, so let's see um, what we have here. We did do our edit and upload I did my orders and the pick list so we can go ahead and mark that one off because that did actually get done it'll be finished before I go to sleep tonight so we'll finish that um I did not record a plan with me I did not get this done but this is a yellow because I just haven't um so we just need to follow up with that later um let's see Review Belinda's email, giveaway winner, I already did that. This is what I can do in my bed. So this is actually not that bad considering I had a two hour nap. This is something that probably would have um, gotten done. I'm just gonna highlight that in there because I'm weird like that. I like to see stuff like that <laughs> anyway. So this can be done um tomorrow that's not a problem i record the plan with me that can be done tomorrow um or in the morning however i see fit but yeah so it wasn't like super unproductive all right you guys thank you so much for joining me today vlogging with me today i feel like i look way better in this lighting i don't know what that's about but like when i was sitting over there on the couch it's horrible um but yeah so i'm about to play with this machine again because it's starting to act click click um and yeah that's that's it for tonight you guys um thanks for sticking with me throughout this whole vlog hopefully it was fun so you guys can see exactly like what a day in the life looks like for an entrepreneur slash mom whatever you guys probably looking like where's bubba bear well you guys know i can't go anywhere so um it's the weekend anyway so he stays with his grandparents and um so he, today he's just staying over there again tonight because i just don't want to be somewhere and we drive somewhere and i have him like i y'all know i just i just don't do well so i'm gonna go get my tire in the morning finish all of my stuff in the morning it'll be oh to the good okay i will catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching i love you in real life okay okay bye